One thing that I've been noticing over the years, like for decades now, is I can't believe Republicans keep getting away with this. They because I saw some clip on this just before we hopped on. And it was J.D. Vance once again. And he said, well, you know, one thing I know about Kamala Harris is that she's a San Francisco liberal with San Francisco liberal values. And Tim Waltz may be from the Midwest, but at his heart, he is still just like her, a San Francisco liberal. How do they get away with this shit? How do they get away with doing this? Because oh, Republicans do this every chance they get. You never see Democrats come with theirs like this guy's a fucking Alabama conservative with his his backward standards and uh, Georgia value. Like, they never do that. But Republican, the only time I've ever seen it backfire on them is when they tried it on Trump. And they said that Donald Trump is just a New York liberal. And Trump got on. He was on one of the debates. And Trump said, well, the city of New York is great. After 9-11, we all banded together. I was like, oh, it was great. He, he boomeranged it on them completely. It's the only time I've seen them actually suffer. It was from another Republican, oddly enough. But it does annoy me that there's an entire political party that can just demonize like the great cities of the United States and say these people are obviously garbage and nobody bats an eye. Well, see, here's the thing, TJ, and this is to, to circle back to how they're suddenly doing everything right. The reason that they've been able to do that it's not a because I've been hearing a lot of people say, uh, you know, finally, we're going low when they go low. That's not really what's going on here. Yeah, we're like hitting them back. But the go low when they go low there would be to say what you just said. Well, he's an Alabama Republican. But I watched the, uh, yesterday's uh, rally that announced walls. That was the first one I've watched like front to back in a long time. Uh, I, I don't think I ever watched a Biden rally in my life. And I watched this one. And one of the things that stood out to me is that they're reclaiming patriotism. Yeah. And they, they literally started a USA, USA chant at a Democratic presidential rally. And I was like, wow, this is what we've been saying for them to do yes. for years now. You, we should be the party of patriotism. We should be the party of freedom. And this is the exact messaging they're running with. I swear to God, TJ, Kamala has been watching my TikTok for the past couple of years and just getting, because this is all the same shit. And I, I don't mean to like brag, but it's true. Like this is what our wing of the party has been saying and it's what they're doing. And it works because if you go low against low and go, oh, the Alabama fucking conservative, it feels like you're punching down. Whereas it feels like Republicans are punching up. And even though that's, you know, unfair. That's just the way it is. But yeah. if you say, hey, no, we're, you know, screw you, coastal elites, be like, no, we're the party of everyone. You know, we're, 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 we got Tim Walls here. He's, he's, he's from the middle of the country. He grew up where he did all this. Like, that is a winning message against San Francisco elite. And th it, it's inept. Like, they're, they're trying to attack line snap. He, he never went to San Francisco until last year. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's a lie. And it's clearly false by just the eye test. It's not a lie. Yeah. You pull out a chart and go, oh, technically, no, the economy's up. No, it's just clearly this guy in a fucking coastal elitist. You, this minute he opens his mouth, it's apparent to everyone in America. And for them to be using or, – or like Kamala isn't black. I open my eyes and I'm like, no, nah, she looks black, guys. I think you're uh -oh. wrong about that. It doesn't, it doesn't require this long-ass rebuttal. They just have no actual attacks against anyone but Joe Biden. Yeah. Yeah. The the eyeball test is so important. It's mm -hmm. so it's 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 probably the most important things in politics in politics that you have to look the part. And like when it comes to Harris, she it's hard to really rally people around that she is this evil demon way to take over the country. There's no way you can see Kamala Harris. Uh, in her, she looks like, you know, your auntie. Uh, and that That's who Kamala Harris looks like. And there's and she acts like her, too, like kind of kind of a uh, corny and, you know, just uh, folksy and everything. That's the vibe you're going to get from her. And with Waltz. He couldn't be more of a normal looking uh, politician, dude. Like you, yeah. you can't. And just uh, hearing him talk and just like uh, the jokes and the aphorisms he throws around. And uh, what you were saying is something that we have been saying this for a long time, that the problem with not necessarily even Democrats, but just people on the left in general, is a lot of times we do speak in these complex esoteric terms. And mm -hmm. you, they, you fail to sound like a normal person. The more you start talking about, you know, 
intersectionality and quantitative easing or, you know, like uh, anarcho syndicalism. Like you just start throwing the shit around. You lose people real fucking quick. And someone like Walt's getting up there and doing what we've been what we've been saying that you need to do. Talk like a regular person. Embrace patriotism. Uh, embrace because, look, I know this kind of describes our entire movement, but there's only so far you can get on a platform or an ideology built on eternal cynicism. That's not going to get you anywhere. Like you need to sell an optimistic message other than this sucks. We're not going to get everything we want. Let's just whine about it, which look, all that's true. We're never going to get everything, but we're not going to live to see that. We know it. But if you want people to support you and actually build toward these goals, you do got to do a few USA chants. You can't be afraid of the American flag. I hate to say it, but you got to embrace church too. Like you got to embrace stuff that normal people like if you want them to support you. And I think they're doing a, a great job with that. 